Hey everyone, NewBarC here. I'm going to go through another video today, but I'm going to try Race Flight 1. I've heard a lot of hype about this, perhaps, maybe. Um, I've actually heard a lot of good and bad. A lot of people say it's really easy to set up. I've heard a lot of people say that they've had to work and work and work at it. So this is actually the first time uh, hooking anything up. I've got it on a build that I just finished a little bit ago. So I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Okay, first impressions, it's a pretty simplified interface. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot there, really. Uh, on the setup tab, looks like we can set up the flight controller, detect our receiver, set up the radio, update the ESCs, calibrate motors, and fix the motor direction. Well, that's kind of neat. Uh, we'll, check, we'll get back to that. Uh, configuration. Uh, we've got you know your radio stuff, ESC protocols. I'm actually using one shot on this, so we'll switch there. Oh, there's a check to reverse prop direction, so that's fun. I know a lot of people are running that now. LEDs, some PID tuning windows. Neat. Oh, it actually does communicate directly with the ESCs. Interesting. Uh, my battery is not connected, but we'll get back to all this uh, here in a little bit. Let's just go to the setup and go through it like a total noob, like I am. So setup flight controller. I said flat. Okay. And then when it's standing up, I need to make sure that it's nice and vertical. There. Now it's happy. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is detect the receiver. Should probably turn on my radio. Now we'll detect the receiver. Turn on your radio, make sure your radio is bound to the receiver and transmitting is at least 10 feet away from the receiver. Then press next. Okay, let's do next. So at this point it looks like it's actually going through and scanning the, uh, the UARTs, I guess, uh, or a little bit of everything there. I actually have a S-Bus receiver wired in, so Let's see if it figures all that out. Okay, it did actually find it. Please run the setup radio wizard next. Okay. So let's do that. Press next and move your sticks and circles for 15 seconds. Right, somebody set a stopwatch. I'm not very good at counting. Moving the sticks and circles. After that, place the throttle at idle and keep yaw, pitch, and roll centered, then click OK. Okay. Throttle at idle. Click OK. Boom. Set throttle to top. Boom. Push yaw stick to right. Boom. Push pitch stick to top. Boom. Set roll to right. Boom. Alright, cool. Set your arming switch to the disarmed position and hit next. to armed position and hit next. Right, that's pretty cool, actually. So did it get it? Oh, look at that. There's my arming switch. It knew that it was on channel 8. And uh, sets my tolerances there and everything. That's, that's kind of cool. I'm good with that. Level, acro level, fail safe, logging, LED color. So this stuff isn't set, but I could probably do that if I want to do a, a level mode. Let's say, well, I know my f should be on channel five. Yeah, there's my three position switch. So let's say we want to set a group down here. So there, that way I can start off in level mode and then switch out to acro. I'm not sure what acro level is. I'm going to guess that's like horizon. So let's set up a. We'll set that in there too. Probably like that. Looks good. All right, I'm gonna save. Just so I got everything there. All right, so I did the setup radio. Let's do the update ESC. I have removed the props and connected a battery. Well, no, I haven't yet. 
Let's do that. I have now. Next. Well, I don't know what they're doing. I'm guessing it's updating the ESC uh, firmware, I suppose. It's interesting. I didn't give it any options, so I'm a little concerned about that. This is why reading the instructions is so important, people. Uh, it really makes a big difference in your life if you know what you're doing before you start clicking on things. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't even bother reading and... That worked out better than expected. So, alright. Cool. Now what do I do? Oh, I guess I clicked done. There's done. Calibrate motors. I have removed the props and oh, disconnected the battery now. Which makes sense. So let's do that and hit next. Plug in the battery and wait for the tests. Yada yada yada. So that should be good. Hit OK. OK, should be good there. Now we're just fixing motor direction, it looks like. Remove the props, connect to the battery. Next. Set idle percent to 5. No, they are not spinning. There's no no, I guess I'm just gonna hit stop. Hey, they are all spinning now. And they were all spinning the correct way. See what happens here when I just hit start motors. Oh, it tells me to wait like I didn't do last time. Okay. Just testing motor direction now. Everything's going the right way. Good. I honestly think that's it. I mean, obviously I need to tune my pits and things like that, but... I think that's the race flight setup. So if I arm this. So race flight one uh, seems like a pretty easy setup. Looks like there's some more stuff here that we can do. Um, you know, go through some config here. I could reverse the prop direction and swap everything out. I could configure the LED. I don't have one on here. So uh, I just haven't wired one up. Now, of course, here in PID tuning, I might want to do some stuff. Uh, of course, I want to set up my raids and expo, but I'm going to take it out and fly it first and see how that feels, and then I can just adjust it from there. Uh, filtering, I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff in here that I haven't looked into yet and need to do some reading on uh, to really give this thing a go. But I'm going to do that. The weather's finally turning here, so Saturday's supposed to be lovely. So this weekend we'll take it out, we'll get a couple flights on it, and see what the Revolt can do. In the meantime, if you have any questions, or better yet, if you have any answers, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Uh, drop a line in the comments and like and subscribe.